Hi there, I'm Eitan, and welcome back to the Wix Wiz. If you're an old-time watcher, then you might recognize this as our custom product page from the series about customizing your product pages. And what I want to address in this video is a question that's come up quite often from the watchers of that series, and that is, how do I navigate from my shop page to these custom product pages? And I'm going to show you three different approaches to this problem. So if you want to learn about that, Let's get started. So since we haven't touched this custom store and product page in a while, I just want to give you a very brief recap of how we set this up. So we use the original products collection from the Wix stores app. OK, so we have the products collection right over here. And what we did is we turned this into a dynamic collection by adding a dynamic page. And I'm just going to open up this collection and show you what it looks like and specifically the URL part. And if you take a look right over here, so these are our original product page URLs. These are the ones that come out of the box with Wix stores. And you can see that they are all slash product page slash some kind of slug here based on the product name or title or whatever it is. And then if we take a look over here, let me just find that for you. Uh, so you can see here that we have our products page URL, and this is for the custom product pages that we created. And it's slash products slash I am a product slash I'm product five. So basically the same slug that is being used for our actual product pages. And that's this slug field right over here. So just to go over that one more time. Inside of the Wix stores products collection, we had a field that's called slug. And this is a built in field that Wix generates. And both the original product pages and our new product pages URLs are built off of that same slug. So this is a key factor that's going to make our redirect a lot easier. If you chose to set up your custom product pages in a different way, then you might have to take what I'm going to explain in this video and figure out how to apply it to your specific situation. So in terms of redirecting from the main shop page to our product pages, there are three approaches that we can take. So the first approach would be to build out a custom shop page. So for example, over here, if I go to this um, shop page that I have in my menu, then you'll see that I've built out a custom shop page, which is now serving as the home page of my site. And if I was to just go and view this page, so let me go over here and go to view publish site, you can see that I am populating this custom page with the products from the store. Okay, and that way I can easily set up these individual product items to navigate to my new custom page because this is a repeater that I control completely and I can dictate where the click event leads to in terms of Wix location. So I just click here and it goes to my pr custom product page. And if you want to see what that looks like in the code, so it looks something like this. Whoops, don't want to go into full screen. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. And you can see here that we have a products repeater. And for each product image, the on click will take us to the URL of our new products page, and then slug. Okay, so that's the general gist behind how this is set up. And this is the best option if you are considering customizing your shop page. Okay, so if part of your custom store experience is not only customizing the product page, but also customizing the main shop page, then this is the way to go for you. If you are planning on sticking with the native Wix shop page, so that's what you see right over here. And it may look a little different on your website because Wix has updated the shop page since I created this site. But the same principles that I explain now should still be applicable to your shop page. So if you're planning on staying with the native shop page, and the only thing that you want to customize is the product page, 
and you want to now navigate from your native Wix shop page to your new custom product pages. So there are two ways that you can approach this and set this up. One is a on-page uh, redirect, and that is something that we can set up on the individual product pages. So let's go to one of our product pages. Okay, and here what we want to do in the product page is essentially when we reach it, we want to redirect to our new page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import Wix location. Front end, and I'm just going to set up a redirect and I'm going to say Wix location front end dot two. And what we need to navigate to here is essentially our product product slash and here we're going to need to have our slug okay that's what we're going to need to have in here so how are we going to get our slug we can get that from this product page itself so every product page has this product page widget so here it's called product page one and if i select that widget and i say dot get product then this will give me back the full product um, object and that should include the slug. So let me go here and go console.log and I'm going to assign this product to a variable. So we'll say const product equals to product page dot get product and here I'm going to log that product that we get. So let's see what this product looks like in the log and if you've seen any of my previous tutorials about the custom product page let me zoom out for a second. I think our, our log is taking up the whole screen. Um, so if you've seen any of my previous tutorials about the product page, then you're familiar with this technique. Uh, and this is a promise, okay? So that means that we need to await it. So let's go to edit site. And I'm going to turn this into an asynchronous function. And I'm going to add the await keyword over here just so that we can resolve our promise. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go into preview mode again. And here we can see the full product. And here we have the slug as well. So basically we're just gonna take this slug and as soon as we hit this product page, we're gonna to navigate to our new product page. So let's go ahead and go to edit site. And here I'm going to say Wix location front end dot two. And here I'm just gonna have product dot slug, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and publish this change. And now if I go to my site and I'm going to go to my shop page, so the native Wix shop page, and I'm going to click on a product. So you'll see it'll take me to my regular product page. And now it should redirect me to the new product page unless there's an error and then we will need to fix it. Uh, so I'm going to go over here to console and the Wix location didn't work so let's take a look and see what we might have done wrong here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay so we're getting our product, we're logging it and then we're going to Wix location front end dot two slash product slash product dot slug. Okay, so that probably means that there's no such URL as this. So let's take a look and see my mistake. And that's because this needs to be products and not product. Okay, so this is typical behavior of Wix location. If the URL doesn't exist, nothing will happen. So I'm just going to add in that S right over here and I'm going to publish the site again. And I'm purposely leaving in these small mistakes and debugging because I think that these are things that you are highly likely to encounter yourself when you're uh, implementing these solutions. And there's no better way to know how to solve it than by watching somebody else struggle with it. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave that in. And if I go back now to our shop page, 
and just make sure that you're refreshing your site every time that you publish. And I'm going to go ahead and click one of these products. And we reached the product page. And now we should be redirected. And boom. So we were redirected to our new product page. And obviously, this is not an ideal situation because we're like going to two product pages one after the other, and it's really a very bad user experience. We could do a little bit to improve this. Uh, so what we could do is we could go ahead and collapse this section, which displays the old product page. So I'm going to go ahead and collapse that. And we can add in a blank section. And optionally, we could also add in, let's say, just like some kind of animation. So let me add in a Lottie file here. And I'll zoom out just to put it nicely in the middle of the screen. Okay, great. So this will like indicate that we're loading. And if I go ahead and publish this, and we take a look at our new experience. So I'm going to refresh just to make sure that our published site is the one being loaded. And I'm going to go here and click on the new product. And now we're taken to a page where either it's blank, and we possibly will see our Lottie file kind of loading there, and then we're taken to the new product page. So there is still a slight delay. Uh, but overall, it's a much better experience than being taken to two product pages, which seems really fishy and really bad. Um, so that is one approach to solving this issue. The third approach, um, or the second approach for the native Wix store, and what I think is the ideal approach, is to solve this using 301 redirects. And this will be good um, also for your SEO in general if you were using your old product pages in the past. And it's just a much more smooth uh, user experience. And this is something that is done through the dashboard. So if you just search here for 301, you'll find the URL redirect manager. Okay, if you want to know where it is inside of the dashboard, so it's marketing and SEO under SEO. And what you'll need to do is to add in a new redirect. And here you'll see that you have two options. One is a single redirect, and one is a group redirect. And what we could do is we could say that the old URL path was product, we'd have to get this from our collection. So let me just double check and see what the old what the old name of the uh, Wix app collections and then here products. And here we can see product page. Okay, that's the name that's the old name of the URL, so product page, and we want to change that to products. And the way that this works, you can see here in the preview, is that essentially Wix will take all URLs that include this product page after the domain name, and then it will just change the navigation from that to a page which has just products after the domain name, and the rest of the URL remains the same. So the slug remains the same. And since we built our solution so that the slug is the same for both the original product pages and our new custom product pages, this should work seamlessly. Um, so you can go ahead and you can click Save on that. And just note that this won't work on a free site. Uh, so you'll have to, or at least a site without a domain. So even if you upgrade your site but you haven't connected your domain yet, these 301 redirects will not work. Okay, so that's why the original, the, the solution that I showed you right before this will work also if your site is in a development stage. So if you want this to kind of work as you're developing your site and you haven't upgraded your site or connected a domain, then you'll have to go with the option that I showed you before this. If you're going into production and you're ready, your site is already published with a domain, then you can just go ahead and use this third solution, which I just showed you which again will work seamlessly if you're using the original product pages collection for your new product pages. If you built some other kind of setup and the slugs to the URLs, for example, are not exactly the same, then you might encounter some issues using this solution. 
So that is the, those are the three ways to deal with navigating from your shop to your custom product pages. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.